So who? <laughs> who what worries me? What what? worries me? <laughs> Instantly into my mind jumps Barbara Bach as Daisy Duke in the Dukes of Hazard. She would be a tough one to knock off the, off the top. My first love is in like, oh, I want to be her, was, um, was Hayley Mills in Pollyanna, playing Pollyanna. And that was my first like, like, yeah, oh, oh, I just adore Terry and, and like, you know, looked up to him. I used to love yeah. this show called Brum. It was about a car when I was a kid. I used to love that. I used to, yeah. I got him obsessed. That was my favorite. That was my first uh, TV love. He brum, brum, brummed his way along the pavement until he came to the crossing. I guess, yeah, when I was a kid, I, my favorite TV show was Rupert the Bear. And there was this uh, one character in it and I just couldn't stop watching that. It was like the episode I watched on repeat. He was called Raggedy and he was made out of sticks and he was a nymph of spring. Um, it was a bit like a kind of like golemy character and I found him terribly fascinating. Do you have a name? Raggedy's not going to tell you his name. Raggedy, so that's your name. Oh, you tricked me. Raggedy, speak by that one. You'd be really naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Loads, I'm such a wimp when it comes to anything a bit scary. Yeah, I saw, I, I watched uh, Save Me, the show that Lenny James wrote and starred in. Uh, for Sky, and that gave me that 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 is such a disturbing show, it's such a brilliant show, but it's such a disturbing subject matter. That gave me dreams about kind of violence and sort of just, you know, not not your kind of nightmare, you know, your classic nightmare. Where yeah, you're... yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of the Black Mirror episodes have given yeah. me like I don't want to go to sleep. I, yeah. I like I would really appreciate it if all my friends could come round right now and have sleepover because <laughs> I'm going to stay awake until five a.m. and then try and grab an hour. <laughs> Can I say what I have just seen? I just watched The Sopranos after years and years uh, and years. People, people. Well were, done. Uh, yeah, yeah, I just got that. Um, I hadn't seen The Sopranos and I tried watching it after I watched The Wire and it just felt, after watching The Wire, it felt really soapy. <laughs> I don't know, it's supposed to be like the sort of, one of the most sort of like uh, gritty filmic things, but um, uh, you know, I've never watched Green Wing and everyone no. always goes on about that. Um, I think I have just downloaded it. I'll start. I watched The 13th and I cried my eyes out every day. Yeah, I, that was that was bad. Uh, the last time I was watching um, When They See Us Again, that documentary about, you know, the, the Netflix show When They See Us, which was featured in 13th, and then <clears> the <throat> show that Oprah Winfrey hosted where they bring the actual exonerated Clive on and the cast that produces the show of When They See Us. That was, yeah, that was, that was powerful. I want to say The Office, the UK version, but I know that Ricky Gervais only wanted ever, only ever wanted two seasons. The Wire. I'm thinking about rewatching it. I'd love to see more now. Only Fools and Horses. It's like a, it's like a sitcom, but it's fantastic and it's finished. And they only did, they only did three, did they do three seasons or two seasons? No, they did quite a lot. They did like ten. Oh, did they? It's like an wow. iconic British show. Would you make it contemporary? Like for now, would you go back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's watching Dead to Me and some of Christina Applegate's side, her, her little like side notes that she does are just hilarious and I was laughing out loud at some of those. I can, I've been sort of laughing in, in despair actually in disbelief that our daily press briefings by this government about what's been going on, about how they're handling COVID and how they're handling the easing of the lockdown. It's kind of laughing and then kind of crying at the same time, just laughing with disbelief at how. And also just really trusting that we know what one meter is or two meters is. I'm like, okay, I just really need to be taking out my tape measure with me everywhere I go now because they keep changing the rules. One of my favorite shows that I feel like not enough people seem to have heard of is Better Things. 
Have you seen it? It's so good. It's so funny and it's so real and it makes me cry and laugh at the same time. And it's, um, yeah, and I just get through the seasons far too fast. I wish they did longer it. Like the sound of this video? All of our music was licensed from Soundstripe, a subscription-based royalty-free music library for filmmakers, podcasters, YouTubers, and more. Soundstripe. Keep creating.